How's that sound? Oh yeah! Yes. Are we doing all right? Yeah! You're welcome. Can we compete with the freeway up there? Oh. See, there's Bruce. <laughs> hey, uh, are we ready for that fiddle player? As far as having a mic, do we need another one? Sir, what about our dog? He usually goes to sleep when we start playing. Tamitha, do you want to say a few words as the MC? No, I'm not talking negative. It's like do you do you type five? for coming today is a very special day it's a great day but none of this at all would be happening if it wasn't for Sharon and Joyce Jones yeah. Sharon and Joyce yeah. mother father <laughs> they're probably running around doing something <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're running around there always working doing something always anyway um camp resolution it started off as a dream as a vision to uh, actually get housing for my niece who's quadriplegic and she was over on the riverside where the floodwaters were, of course, because that's where it floods, right? Mm -hmm. So they brought her up here to Colfax. It was an empty lot. We were all just kind of camping here. Then we were told it was gonna be, they were gonna make this safe ground for us. So we were like, cool, it's a place to be safe. Because we're mostly women, and you know, of course we all want a safe place to be. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, we were here, and they told us to move to one side. They were gonna pave this side, then they were gonna move us over here, and then pave the other side, then they were gonna put little houses out here for us. They didn't do that. Then they wanted us to move off the, the site totally. They told us that uh, 
if we move, they put us on these lists, and then they're going to call us back, you know, to come and stay. We never got them phone calls. None of us. We tried to call them, tried to call the city, tried to call the state, tried to call the county, anybody, anybody that we could to get no answers. No phone calls were answered either. Left messages, no messages were answered. So finally we decided we're just going to do it ourselves. The city, the state, the county aren't going to do it for us, we're going to do it ourselves. So we stood together, we stood strong, started high, and we're still going. Um, we went to City Hall, and there, from, from there we're just climbing up higher to, to fight for what we, what, what we believe in. We feel that the city and the state and the county ought to be held responsible and accountable for their actions as anybody else is. That's only fair. You're going to give us a bunch of promises, stick with it, and, and you know, and fulfill those promises. They didn't want to do that. So we did what they couldn't or wouldn't do. Thus, we have camp resolution. So today, we had a press release conference thingy or whatever you want to call it, where we all said our piece and... and we got a lease for the property, now is what it is. We fought, we fought, we fought, and we, we got a lease. They wanted to come and sweep us all off. Now mind you, these sweeps that they do throughout Sacramento, throughout every homeless, anywhere, state, they're, they're violent. They're violent sweeps. The one that they had here last was probably one of the most violent, violentest ones I've seen. They're supposed to bag and tag, is what they call it. Bag and tag your stuff so you have it and hold it in storage for you for like 30 days or 60 days, whatever it is. So you have access to your stuff. You go and tell them your name or whatever, and they you give them a number, and they, you know, and on. They didn't do that. They didn't bag and tag nothing. They were taking people's trailers with animals in them. They weren't giving them back. Then you see the police officer standing off to the side laughing about it. It's not a funny thing. It's not a joke. They were violent, real violent. So we're trying to put an end to that as well. They're, they shouldn't be like that. Stand true to your word. Do what you say you're going to do. So we are a self-governing place. We don't need nobody to tell us when we can and can't drink water. We don't need nobody to tell us when we can and can't go to the bathroom. We don't need a curfew. Most of us here work. We all have, you know, most of us have jobs. Um, and those of us that don't have jobs are looking for jobs. And then they also have, we all have jobs here on site. Like I said, we're self-governing. So therefore, we have our own security. We have our own council. We, we have our own parents. We, we have... <laughs> We're doing it. We're doing what, like I said, what they said they would do and that they didn't or couldn't do. So we are Camp Resolution, and we thank you guys all for coming today. We have an entertaining show for you. We have Women of Bozes here. Dykins is here. And I just missed the first part of it, too. Good night. Can you hear me? Um, other than that, it's open mic, some poetry. I'm going to read some poetry in later on. Yeah. But until then, i got to tell you guys the story. So I've been drinking and stuff, you know, it was the weekend, whatever, me and Debbie were, were out drinking and partying. I drop her off and then I'm going over to a friend of mine's house and I'm thinking, man, I can't be driving no more, I'm tired. I gotta pull over and take a nap. So I pull over into this parking lot and crash out. A few hours go by, I wake up and there's a cops just like all around me and I'm thinking, oh my God, what the hell did I do? Little did I know I was in the parking lot of a donut shop. <laughs> learned my lesson that day. <laughs> so then I also got the big girl thong thing worked out. I don't know if any of you ladies have the same problem I do because they just don't make them for big girls. I know I'm a big girl. They're either way too big or way too small. I got it figured out. Put on a pair of boxers in the morning and by noon that shit's a thong. <laughs> So my initials, of course, are T-A-M, but I think my son has it wrong because he thinks it's A-T-M. <laughs> so far, it's working out for him. <laughs> so if you guys, I know all of you guys have been to the casino, right? Have anybody been to the casinos? You guys win? You guys play the machines? No? The best machine to play is the change machine. <laughs> Put money in it, you're going to get money out of it. <laughs> Swear to God. I'm over there rubbing it like this changing machine is mine. <laughs> I put in one bill, it gives me back five. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so this is open mic, so if anybody else has anything else to say, a story they want to tell, secrets we don't know, <laughs> anything. <laughs> We're not playing truth or dare. You don't have to be honest. Just, well, okay, yeah, sort of. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, and I'll be back. I'm going to go get my poetry. Woo! You guys Woo! Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Thank you.
Les, is that loud enough? Oh, 
up my bags when looking for a place to hide. That's when I saw Carmen and the devil walking side by side. I said, hey, come on, Carmen. Let's go downtown. He said, I got to stay, but my friend can't stick around. Yeah, well, take a load off and what? Take a load free. Just making it up as we're going along.